Hi there, <coughs> it's Tanya from Tata Treasures. So, look at all these goodies. Um, this is totally a new um, pack to me. I've never heard of it. Um, I saw it a few months ago on Carol Tinston's video. She was mixing it in with some Edith Holden and I thought, oh, that's perfect. That goes really nice with it. Um, so I searched it and stuff. I did have quite a, a hard time getting some stuff. Um, there is more things in this collection, but <clears throat> I think they've stopped making it. Um, I think it came out in 2014. So I'm guessing, apart from, you know, people who were having D stashes and things like that, um, there's probably, you know, not a lot around. So next year um this is going to be something that i do a big project with i've got no idea what i'm doing yet um i don't know if i'll do it like i've done the woodland wonders kind of thing or i might use it how i've been doing you know the tina's mass makes and i've done it with tim holtz um but i will definitely be using it in um kind of on its own i might mix some of it up with edith holden we'll see so i just thought i'd i'd show you um and then i can get it put put away so let's start with the little bits first so i've got these lovely ribbons i've got a nice blue one a green one and it's got script writing on and then some of the is it gross grain in the cream and peach and green and then a silky navy blue so these are like the main you know colors of of the papers now to me they look as if i could use them as if i could separate them and have a more botanical um theme and then some would go more with edith olden and i think that's what i'm going to do with them because like this, to me, that's, you know, very Edith Holden. I don't know if this looks like this, four of each one. Um, at the back of those, it's this lovely blue. And then this one's beautiful. Again, I think it's very Edith Holden, but then on the back side, um, it's very botanical. So with that, I would probably use two two on that side and two on that side so that's those ones and say so, you know these could be cut up or lots of oh, I can't wait to start using it it's absolutely beautiful then this one could cut out some of those bits I think again it's oh look at that very botanical so I would probably again go two and two um in fact <laughs> why I'm why I'm going through it I might as well um separate it um now so that's those ones then this one now to me this don't fit in with anything <laughs> it obviously fits in more with the bird theme but um yeah it, I, it's not my favorite this one and the, the back's lovely it's beautiful uh purple so i may actually take that out and when i do something purple again use it with that because i just think this is really quite muted and then that's really quite quite bright so i'm going to put that in another pile oh, oh this one definitely edith olden so yeah it's it's surprising just to say everything does match you can actually um use it in all different projects and then there's that beautiful pink at the back so yeah i would probably use that as for edith holden love that so i'd put that with the 
with a purple one, I think. This one, all pressed flowers. And then the back's pink. That's beautiful. So I would split that. I'd put two pinks with the pink and purple. And then two with the more botanicals. Look at this blue. Oh, that's beautiful. I think, is that upside down? Yep. It's the back of that light. Oh, that's nice. Just lined. So actually, that's the right way. Yeah, it's because all the script's going all different ways. It's quite, quite confusing. So there's four of those. I'll probably put that in the more brights. And then there's this lovely butterfly one. Four of those. Oh, and look at it on the other side. So I would definitely put two of those with the with the botanicals. And then I'd probably put these two with, with Edith Holden. So that's those. And then the other ribbon is this beautiful one at the top a uh, pink one and then this blue one I've not got my glasses on but it looks as if it's got script and, and some like in embroidery on it so that's those two and then there's some matching buttons um, a stamp bird stamp and then two two words so it says special day and that one says just a note to say um, I got some uh, decoupage tissue. Let's open this up. So yeah, those piles of paper, I have to put them into three different categories. So I've got a bird, a botanical and an Edith Holden. So I think that's what I'll do with, with everything. Um, split it. That's beautiful. Love that. Oh, and then there's the one with the birds. I think that's the, the purple one. And then is that just a plain, plain pink? So absolutely stunning. So yeah, I think I'll get three separate folders and then um put all the you know coordinating things. In, in the right pile. Um, then we've got the A4 paper pack. Now this is all single sided whereas the 12 by 12 was uh, double, double sided. So that's the top page. I don't know if there, there's any different or not. So we've got the birds. They're a nice size for journal cards. And it looks like we'd get two of two of each one. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so I think they are the same, but because they they're smaller, it, it does make them look a bit a bit different. Beautiful. That's such a beautiful collage. And the, the purple one. Oh, it looks as if then we get the backs as well um, on the other side, which is pretty cool. So then you do get to use use each one. But then obviously you've either got to coffee stain them or, or back them. But I suppose it depends what, <clears throat> what you're going to be doing with, with each one. And the butterflies. And we've got the, the lovely blue, the green, purple, <clears throat> and pink. Oh, and a couple of the of the lime ones. Oh, I like them. So that's the papers. Oh, I'll just clear them off. And then we've got the lovely uh, decoupage pack. And I did actually get three packs of these because... Um, <clears throat> I just thought what a great way of having um, lots of embellishments that you can just literally uh, pop, you know, pop out. 
Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to, to decorate things, things up with. So lots of birds, <coughs> lots of little sayings that, you know, they're no use, use to me, not just to say thanks and, and stuff. Little ferns and flowers and butterflies, a little berry. Is that the same? Yep. And this one. That's beautiful. And that's all in separate uh, little boxes. I think these, are these what you layer on top of each other to get that, um, yeah, because there's like a wing there. I'm not going to do that. I will just use the the flat elements and say that is more card making. And then there's a couple more sheets in here. Gosh. No, end up with <coughs> lots and lots of paper. So I think that is it. So I just wanted to, to show you. So if you see it popping up in <coughs> in my things, you'll you'll know what it what it is. So thank you very much for joining me. I think I will keep all these. I'm not going to separate these because I think once you start tacking these to bits, it, it's, you're going to end up with a million pieces, aren't you? So I shall, shall keep those t together. But um, yeah, I will take the, the ribbons out and put those in the right um, things. And then I shall work my way through these through through the year I'm going to say I'm going to do lots and lots of projects so I shall put those with the botanicals I should put the blues with the birds and then the the pink and cream with the Edith Holden I think these are so I will cut down that Right, that's the green. Now oh, that's good. There's one for each. That's the blue, and that's the pink. And then I'll keep the buttons on the on the thing. I'll probably keep those somewhere on my desk. But um, yeah, I'd probably have those for. Might have those three for botanical, that one for birds, and then that one for reedy holding. But I think until I know what I'm actually going to be doing with those, they'd be better, better staying, staying on. And then obviously the stamp, I should just put it with my uh, normal stamps, which I still need to <clears throat> get some kind of um, better storage for me stamps. Right, so that's it. I shall see you soon. Bye for now.